Patch My PC just released their most requested feature ever to public preview, the Cloud Publisher. Now, in less than 10 minutes, you can be up and running and deploying apps from their catalogue of thousands of applications. It's taken a long, long time for them to get this out into public preview, and I've been waiting for it for literally years, but now it's ready, at least it's in public preview, and ready for us to test. Let's jump in. We're going to go to portal.patchrypc.com, and from here, accept all cookies. Cookies are nice, right? And we have a choice of signing in or signing up. Now, in my case, I haven't signed up, so I'm going to go and sign up. And we're signing up with uh, our Microsoft account. In this case, my admin account. I'm going to choose login. And because I'm global admin, I get the option to consent on behalf of my organization. It's going to read our basic profile. And it's going to maintain access to the data we give it. Very simple. I'm going to consent on behalf of the organization, my lab organization. Make sure you have permission before you do that. And choose accept. And a very simple choice next. We have to choose where the data is going to be kept. Is it within the EU or is it within the US? In my case, I'm going to choose EU. And the company name I'm going to go with is First Coffee. And the country is United Kingdom. Okay. Very simple so far. Not that many steps. Choose Continue. Now I need to go with Demo Administrator. I've read and accepted the terms and conditions, so we'll choose continue. And okay, that's pretty much it. We are up and running with our cloud portal ready to use Patch My PC. If you've used Patch My PC in the past, you'll hopefully recognize that getting to this stage is much, much faster now because you don't need a publishing server, you don't need all of that additional infrastructure. It's pretty much ready to go now. Just need to connect up Intune and, and see how it works. So right at the top there you see it says we only have one user. We could invite another user for example. If I click fix access it will allow me to invite a user and type in their first name, last name and email address and determine whether they are a full admin so manage all of the uh, bits of this cloud portal or a custom app admin so that they can simply create custom applications. I'm not going to do that for now. I want to show you just how quick it is to get up and running without additional users. So I'm going to go back to App Catalog. We haven't got a connection to my Intune tenant yet. That's the next step. I'm going to choose Connect. And obviously we need to understand that this being a public preview feature, it's not quite ready yet. Some things will work, some things might not work. This really is a case of you seeing how it works for you and your organization and understanding how awesome it could be when it does finally get released. So let's choose submit. And at this point I'm going to need to sign in again and this is where it starts doing that connection to Intune for me. So a few more permissions are needed obviously. We need to uh, allow it to sign in. This is fine. The read ones, you know, reading stuff about our tenant is not too much of a big deal because we're hoping that Apache PC will be able to do some uh, some reading of the of the information we've got within the tenant. The right bits are the bits where we need to take much more care, I think. So here it allows the app to read and write the properties, group assignment and status of apps, app configs and app protection policies managed by Intune without a user being signed in is really important. That's needed for this for this application to work, obviously. Similarly, read and write Microsoft Intune configuration. It's gonna to need to be able to actually make some configuration changes in order to deliver applications to our PCs. So that's pretty much all it needs, just there. Obviously make sure you read all of it in full, all of the documentation on patchmypc.com will cover all of that anyway for you. We'll choose accept. And that's Intune connected up successfully. It's created that enterprise app for us, got the right permissions. Now we just need to choose whether we're starting a trial or we're gonna use our license key. I have one, so I'm going to just tap in my license key right now and choose activate. And it says you've successfully activated your license. If you have a, a, a subscription for Patch My PC, you will be able to use this preview to see how it works and connect it up to your tenant. Do obviously speak to Patch My PC if there's any concerns or any issues. They're there to help you and support you through this, not me.
Well, choose close. And that's it. We have the app catalog in front of us. This scrollable list doesn't end. It's It, it just keeps on scrolling. Of applications that are ready to be deployed. And most importantly, kept up to date by Patch My PC. Um, it, yeah, it's hard to know where to start, really, with deploying applications from this catalogue. Because there are literally thousands and thousands. But let's have a look at Etcher. So this is Berliner Etcher, and it's a 64-bit application from Patch Drive PC. It is, it's last updated in July 2023. 20, that seems old. Um, now, I I trust the people at Patch Drive PC that they've kept this up to date. But the version... <laughs> Just checking. What are we on? Uh, okay, at the bottom there, 1.1811, and the version we're about to install is 1.1811. Okay, that is the latest version. Okay, well done, guys. So, choose more info. It gives you a little description about this, but there's not a lot more we can do other than click deploy. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so the display name for the application is going to be Belena Etcher. Uh, the language is going to be English. We have some choice around, well, no choice around architecture. The install context is user. It's going to be a install type executable. I'm going to choose next. Now I get the option to install, to, to put some pre-installed and post-installed scripts and pre-uninstall and post-uninstalled scripts. We see the install parameters it's going to use for installing this. They've obviously tested it that that's what you need in this case. So I'm going to choose next. I have no assignments yet, so let's go ahead and create an assignment. I can add it available or required. Let's go with required. And as you can see, we can choose from this list of existing groups that is pulled from my enter ID. All of these are groups that I have created within my organization. Now, I'm going to go with all devices in this first demonstration. So I'll just choose that and then save. And then I get... A next button okay that's pretty much all all we need to do we are going to choose deploy and success building extra deployment created successfully um, okay so if I go into apps choose refresh but then extra this version Okay, now I assume it hasn't managed to upload the content yet because that was incredibly quick. Yes, it says it's uh, it's not ready yet. It's uploading the content to Engine for us, so we'll give that a few moments to do that. In the meantime, we'll head back to the portal and go to deployments. You can see the one deployment that I've got here is Belina Etcher. It's in progress. If I just click into it, we get that information again. Just here about the type of assignment we've got and who it's going to and we chose to get notifications on restart pretty good um, okay well let's wait for this so the status is success so if I go back to here and just refresh this app okay so that's now created it uploaded the content and assigned it to all devices and we have I saw, saw a nice logo there we've got the information URL the privacy URL uh, the, the user-friendly description uh, the publisher name and it's using the script runner install command and uninstall command and that I mean, that looks pretty perfect. That couldn't be better from my perspective right now. Okay, so while that's downloading to my device, I'm going to go back up to Patch Drive PC, take a look at anything else we've get, we get in this portal. So we have a full event log of what has happened here. So I created the company at 8.50pm, and within 8 minutes I had deployed Blainer Etcher to all devices in my organisation. Obviously it hasn't come down to all devices, because that's relying on Intune being quick. 
and that's not a thing, is it? But this is quick. Patchwork PC is, is quick at doing what it just did. But Intune then needs to take some time to be cloud. So maybe we've got a minute or two while this deploys to my device. In that time, let's have a quick look at settings. And in settings, we have the company section. The company name and the billing email is, is, is set there. I just typed that. The location of the data, the company ID. We also get to specify whether Patchwork PC will be able to help with this organization do they have access to this cloud portal that we've got so we can give them full admin or read only admin and if we want to delete the company we just have to remove all the connections that we've got in place and then it will allow us to delete it we can delete we can have a look at that in a second so users again very simple invite a user and they will get an invitation where they can manage this portal with you Environment will show us the status of our Patra PC environment and the license and the expiration that we've got within this environment. In connections, we'll be able to connect to the Patra PC publisher that we've had in the past and get all that information up into this cloud portal for us. In branding, we get to specify a custom app name. And oh, we've got a little logo there. I'll change that to the Alpenshade logo later on. And this is what it'll look like. That's perfect choose save. So as you can see, once you press save, it says configuring branding will create an app in Intune that will be assigned to all devices. The app will deploy the branding configuration to all of your devices. Let's see what that is. Go to apps, all apps, and we're looking for branding, I guess. Uh, oh, there's one named first coffee. Could be it. Yes. So Patreon PC are deploying an app package file called copy notification files the properties yeah this is the common files used by patch pc to customize the notification branding and there's the there's the file that's going to run uh, great okay deploy to all devices perfect and so we'll just head over to my demo device and just choose sync a few seconds I've given this about 20 minutes to deploy now so I'm assuming it's going to be there uh, okay that was successful so back in start menu oh Berliner Etcher's there and so over here we have Berliner Etcher run that and there we go very simple nice and quick literally a few minutes to deploy the configuration to patch right PC which then pushed it up to Intune for us and made it available. It, it's hard to really put into words how incredibly good that is from every perspective I can think of right now. You, you'd be surprised that it could get better, right? Because it, it can. If we go back to the admin portal and choose patch right PC and go to app catalog, I can add an app. I can add my own application to this portal and get it to push it to Intune for me so I don't need to use the Intune process at all. Let's talk about that in the next video. See you next time.